Hello, my name is Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters where I provide all the cool videos daily on Roblox, Nidos, Roombas, you name it, everything. And in this video, you're probably wondering why in the world am I putting tea bottles upside down on the top of these poor robots? Well, I just found out that the Nido D7 has this cool feature called Extra Care Mode in its app. Well, apparently, this feature allows the robot to be extra gentle around furniture and delicate objects. And of course, I'm going to test it with the Roomba X9, which has been known to be very aggressive. Which one does better without knocking over the tea bottles? So, stay tuned! So, I have the Nido D7 go up first. I have the extra care option enabled in the app. You may have noticed the first initial hit with the Roomba S9. Even though it physically hit the robot, it didn't hit it hard enough to knock over the upside down iced tea bottle. The Nido's cleaning algorithm is very similar to the Roblox, where it starts out with the perimeter of the room first, and then it fills in that area with the back and forth cleaning pattern. What do you guys like better, the Roombas? going out first in a back and forth cleaning pattern, then finishing up the area with the perimeter sweep? Or do you guys like the Roblox and Needles cleaning pattern where it starts out with the perimeter first and then fills in that area with the back and forth cleaning pattern? So I think me personally, I like going around the edges first. So with the side brush, you can pick up the debris and scatter it towards the center of the room. And then it can pick up the scattered debris as it's going along the area. So I'm very impressed how well the needle was able to just slightly tap the objects and not bump into them too hard. I don't think there's an actual sensor that detects oncoming objects and slows the robot down. I think the robot just relies on its physical bump sensor. So let me know down in the comments if that information is not correct, if there is a actual sensor in the front bumper that can detect objects. Uh, with the Roomba S9 and Roblox S6, they have a physical sensor which will slow the robot down when it comes up to an object. So just to give a little history of my background, I have owned an older generation Nido. It was like the Nido Bot Back 80. It looks like an old SNES console. It had the cool gray and purple paint scheme. I really love that color combination i wish they kind of stuck with it kind of gave the robot a unique look now i purposely put a chair that was super lightweight so if the robot would bump into it and not detect the light chair it would move it across the room but as you can see the needle d7's physical bump sensors are very sensitive and even the live touch will tell the robot that there's a physical object. Now keep in mind that the needle does rely on its physical bumper to bump gently into an object to kind of feel its way around, similar to what the needle does, but the needle sometimes will do it a little bit more aggressively. So here's where the Roblox S6 and S5 kind of outperform its competition. Even though the Roblox has a physical bump sensor. It also relies on its LiDAR sensor to predetermine where objects are and also the algorithm can judge how far away two objects are and the robot can go around that object without physically bumping into the object. So this has a couple benefits. One is it's not physically bumping into the object so it's not going to harm your objects. Two, it's a little bit more efficient because you're not taking time bumping into the object feeling your way around. The only downside to this is, even though I love LiDAR sensors, lasers tend to get hung up on clear objects like glass panels, glasses, they also can get hung up on black objects as well because the lasers don't reflect off of black objects. So sometimes the mapping gets obscured and sometimes the robot will not detect that object and run into them a little bit harder than it should. So far, the Nido D7 is doing really well. Haven't knocked over any of the iced tea bottles. Okay, the D7 is almost done with its cleaning pattern. Let's go ahead and see how well it does going back to its charger. One thing that's odd on the Nido D7 is there's no physical home button on the robot, unlike my other robots I own. So what you have to do is through the app, you have to 
allow the robot to clean a little bit. This is where the robot can get its surroundings. And then a little icon will pop up telling you it's ready to go back home. I gotta say is I'm really impressed with this Neato D7. I was kind of disappointed with the navigation abilities on my older generation, but they really did a good job improving the algorithms and making sure it doesn't get confused or lost. Okay, so it looks like the Neato D7 did a really good job on an extra camera. I'm gonna swap it out with the Roomba S9 and see how well it can do. Keep in mind, I've had several updates to address the aggressive behavior and hopefully the Roomba S9 has dialed back a little bit and is a little bit gentler. Okay, let's check it out. Alright, you guys can tell the difference. Roomba, Neo D7, Neo D7, Roomba, I don't know. They're both these shit. I'm just mind blown. Alright, let's check this test out. Okay, I was worried for a second. I thought the Roomba would just bump into the S6 hard and knock over the iced tea bottle. So, so far the S9 is doing good. It's detecting the object. Oh, I spoke too soon. It bumped into the Neato D7 too hard. Maybe it's just angry at the D7 for taking its signature D shape design. I don't know. These two have rivalries. They kind of copy each other. But anyways, one thing to note is infrared sensors, which is being used in the front of the Roomba S9, do have a harder time detecting black objects. So that might have been what the case is the Roomba didn't detect the D7 in time. So it kind of bumped harder than it did on the S6, which is a white robot, which can easily detect. So in this testing, I put both robots on the lowest power setting also, they're set to one cleaning run. This isn't to show how much these robots can pick up. It's more of a navigation test. If a company puts out a special feature in the app, I will test it out and see if the app is bogus or not because I want to make sure that companies are providing you guys with the best robotic experience. The rumor was doing pretty well. was able to navigate around the chair legs fairly well without knocking over the iced tea bottle on top of the chair. One thing to note is once it came back, that's when it knocked over the tea bottle. Um, so basically, the results are the Roomba did a uh, 50 out of 100. Uh, it knocked over two and it was able to keep two still standing upright. The S9 is almost done, just finishing up with the perimeter sweep and then it will go back to its charger. In conclusion, if you're worried about the robot banging up your furniture, I would highly recommend looking at the Neato D7. It is a very powerful cleaner. Also, it's very gentle on furniture, as you can see in this test. Um, you won't have to worry about it balling up your walls or furniture. So, what do you guys think? Did you like that test? It was the Roomba S9 versus the Neato D7. Um, it wasn't one of those typical how much can they clean. It was more a special feature I found on a Neato D7 called the Extra Care Mode. And I thought that was really intriguing because when I first got the S9, it bashed up my walls. Let me go ahead and show you that. My, you may notice some white paint in the front there, some scuffing right there. This is due to the training run that I did on the Roomba and it definitely marked up my walls. Um, but good job iRobot, they actually did several updates on the Roomba S9 and they were able to help reduce the aggressiveness. So good job. Neo D7 has always been a gentle cleaner and with this extra care mode, it definitely was the best. It, while it still bumped into the furniture, it still did a really good job not bumping into the furniture very hard. So good job Neato for making a robot that is very gentle on furniture. Okay. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Helps me gauge if you like this video or not, and if it's popular. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, my name is Nathan. Welcome. This is Robot Masters, where I do daily videos of cool robot vacuums. I do a variety of testings. 
I do extreme testing, candy testing, you name it, everything. I do unboxings, overviews, reviews, the whole shebang. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe out there, and I will see you guys next time.